The future is calling for those who can push the boundaries of human performance, and at the University of Waikato, we're answering that call. So my current role as a, as a senior lecturer at the university uh, involves obviously lecturing uh, in the sports science and human performance area. So uh, in terms of my own research, I'm heavily involved in recovery, so that's recovery from uh, not only competition but also training, uh, mostly in elite athletes but also in the development athlete setting as well. And we're looking at all sorts of things around recovery strategies, uh, so things like uh, the recovery boots which we're doing a little bit of research on at the moment. Um, they're a portable device that can be used by athletes um, on a day-to-day -day training uh, setting. So when we're working with sports, uh, we will have questions from the coaches about how to improve different parts of their performance. I think on court and probably in the gym, most teams are training the same and what you're looking for now is something that will give you that added edge. And through some of the research that we've done with the Waikato University, we're finding better ways for them to perform, better ways for them to recover. We're looking at napping on game day performance, so with that we're looking at the duration of their naps and how that affects game day performance. Um, I'm also doing a lot on the sports coding and sports analysing side of the game, so coding games, filming games and then having um, the analysts of that back for player review and coach review. Um, so often we look at physical or physiological fatigue in the athletes, but um, we haven't really looked at uh, central fatigue and that, how that affects athletes. So the, the mental fatigue, if you like, affecting the brain um, and seeing how that affects an athlete's performance. So I think that's a real area uh, that will develop in the near future. At the end of the day, athletes get better through training. So if we can develop recovery strategies that allow them to train more and of better quality, then we've hit the nail on the head.